I use my brother's accident and my role as a leader in that as, as a catalyst or a framework to get to people to rethink and refocus what they are doing so that that doesn't happen to them. Johnny and Craig, they took off Friday afternoon. Two hours later, I get a telephone call. And the guy on the other end of the line, his voice was all excited. He said, Jeff, there's been an accident. Catastrophic engine failure. He said the pilot was trying to glide the airplane down, engine out. But they didn't make it. Two fatalities. I lost my brother and a good friend that fast. I never saw it coming. That's me on that crash scene literally the next day. I was there as quick as I could get there. And I'm just like picking up the pieces. You know, as I look at that picture now, I, I, I kind of think to myself, wouldn't you rather spend a few seconds doing it right? Because in our world, oh, you can lose your life in a few seconds doing it wrong. My mom took that picture. My mom also took this picture. That's how we remember my brother. That was three days before he was killed. And my mom also took this very powerful picture. Now, I know this weight is heavy in this room. I, I recognize that. I'm going to lift this weight in a minute. It's my job. But I want us to sit here a moment. And I really want you to feel this. When I leave here, you're going to forget about 90% of what comes out of my mouth. But you're probably never going to forget the way you're feeling right now. And as a leader, when you start touching people's feelings, you start tapping into their emotions. You can start influencing their behaviors, their thought patterns, their perceptions, their values. You can start touching them in that moment when you're not around. How they're going to behave, how they're going to respond, how they're going to react. That's becoming more of an inspirational leader. So think about that. How can you be more of an inspiration to those around you to make sure they're doing it right every time?